Aquarius to your May chakra reading. If you friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Welcome back, all subscribers. Anyone new? Welcome, welcome. Your chakras this month. We have the base chakra, talking about that root chakra, same thing. Starting at, over here, this is talking about the stability, the security, um, where you have your, also your flight and fight syndrome actually comes from that uh, system as well. So this is your definite survival area of your life where you feel like this is where I need to be, right? Without that going, you're going to feel very insecure. This keeps you very secure as well um, within your life. Where you are, it keeps you calm, it keeps you cool and comfortable as well. Okay, let's see what's going on next. And this, of course, is saying, I have. Let's not forget about that. I have. And that's saying, I have inner power. Woo! Going straight to the solar plexus over here, which is where your intentions are made. This is where you um, are sensual about things. This is, you know, this is what I, I really, you know, can do. Um, and you're, this is where your sensuality of power comes through. Gotta get it. Gotta do it. I want this. You know, I want that. And that'll actually work with your sacral chakra as well as you're talking about those desires coming through. We can see a lot of sacral coming out of that as well, um, even though it's cellular plexus, which is really crazy because three kind of work together in its own way, right? Really building until it hits the heart chakra. Okay, so let's see what's going on next. I am presence. Light body activation. Accessing the divine within. Ooh. Saying, I am presence. Here I am. Look at this. I have the personal power. I know who I am. I'm living in the present and I know what I want. And I'm going to make these manifestations known. This is where my prayers come through. This is where I get all my, gain all my power to keep going strong, strong, strong. Right? The next card coming out is the karmic board clearing. Hmm. Clearing the karmic board. Energetic clearing. Rewrite your story and live your truth. You're going to live in your truth, saying this is who I am today. I'm not going to worry about what I was doing in my past life, whether it was the past life of 1863 or if it was the past of I was 25 and now I'm 35. Because no matter what, we build karma as we continue to be on this planet. So it could be two in one. However it is, you're saying I am who I am and I'm living in the presence I'm not living for yesterday. Just think of it that way. So any karmics that you've built along the way, any skeletons in the closets or any things of this nature, um, you are releasing. You're saying, no, I'm going to be who I want to be today. I'm not going to let yesterday affect who I am today. I'm going to be secure. It doesn't matter where it's coming from. This is who I want to be. I am, have my own personal power, my own intentions, and the own, my own things that I want. I am not the same as I was yesterday. And this will clear all of that karmic around you. If it's karmic people on a negative side, right? You're saying, I'm ripping those bonds off. We're no longer attached. You will not negatively affect me anymore, right? So clearing the karmic board, love it. And this is because this is where your love begins. I'm going to love what I want to love, right? Using that beautiful heart chakra. And remember, over here, this is because you're getting into that third eye and into that crown over here saying, I clearly see who I want to be, and I know. Mm. And then, of course, reaching that divine, right? Then you'll hit that uh, soul star chakra up there and then bring that all down. And just completely energize yourself, right, with being in the present. So you're bringing in this light body activation, Right? You're actually activating the divine within yourself. You're telling your own higher self, this is what we need. And you're listening to what it wants. Keeping yourself on a path that's the best path for you. That's more of your like natal chart, you know, path. Than this path that might have been fragmenting energy all over the place. Going, you know, living out a human life. So, putting yourself back where you're supposed to be. Prosperity begins. Now, all of a sudden, boom. Here it comes, the abundance. Here it comes, all the prosperity. From the inner knowing, from the power and the inner truth, really holding tight. So get ready for a shockwave, because this is really what it is. We kind of see the shockwave here. It's definitely a shockwave. 
right, of all this power that's coming from your sacral chakra, or excuse me, yeah, your sacral chakra too. Hey, even though it's not here, believe me, it's here. Um, from that solar plexus, excuse me. Why? Because it's saying, this is what I want. I'm not terrified. I'm not scared. I have no negative. I know what I want, and I'm going to separate myself from things that I don't want to even think about. So this is really going to put you on the verge of this huge shockwave, right? And the more it keeps coming, the more you keep embracing it, right? So it's going to be this huge, exciting turnaround, and it's just going to keep shifting with this windfall. And you're just going to continue with this windfall over and over and over again because you've now found the power within yourself. Because now you're saying, I live in the present. I don't live in the past. I don't live in the future. The present now will build my future. I'm not going to worry about what my future is. I'm going to live today to build that for tomorrow. So you're kind of changing the emotions. And you're going to be changing the emotional thought pattern of how you want things. And this is where the love really begins. You want to go to the lake? Go to the lake. You want to later buy a boat, start, you know, you're going to say, then fine, I'm going to start with my prosperity. I'm going to save money for the boat. And I'm going to put that into my intention because I love going to the lake. You see what I'm saying? But I'm not going to worry about the boat so much because I'm living in the present knowing that what I'm doing now is saving the money for the boat. See, there's the difference between living in the present. It doesn't mean that you already don't have a plan for the future. You have the plan for the future, but you're allowing all the little pieces to build together. You're building a sweater, my friends. You already have the idea what the sweater looks like, but you have to knit it, don't you? So you're in the knitting process. So you could say, too, you know, a lot of you I know um, also have uh, vision boards, right? So you have this picture of what you want, but you know that there's little steps that you have to take, right? If we just worry about having it, how of it, how it, how it, how it, how it, you're wasting all this energy. And if anything, you're actually imbalancing the chakras because you're putting all this worry into getting something without doing the small steps in between. So buckle up because boom, here it comes, right? You're given the opportunity to actually do what you're supposed to do. Your higher self says, it's time. Let's do this. So you're definitely in an activation. So you can say that the gateway is open. So going straight over here. Oh my goodness, there it is. You have all these opportunities just knocking at your door. Why? Because you've given it all the decisions. You've given it all the opportunities to do what it's supposed to do. You did not see from yourself. What you did escape was anything that's negative, anything that was on that karmic board. Why? Because you're having more faith, more faith within the process, more faith within yourself, more faith that everything's going your way, knowing that you're activating what you're supposed to be activating, living the way you're supposed to be living, getting towards those goals, seeing a brighter future for yourself by being in the now and allowing the now to flow naturally. You have the golden touch. So right now you have the Midas touch. Um, pretty much everything that you can do at this time could pretty much turn to gold. Doesn't mean it'll happen overnight, but it does mean that it's on its way. You have that golden touch because you're seeing things for what things really are. So you're sitting in your own throne, your own understanding. We see all the gold. Gold is the higher spirit realm. Gold represents the king of kings, right? The divine. The soul star chakra. This is where all turns to gold. Because you're allowing it to. And this opens the little fortune. So there's your windfall. So there's your windfall. There's your prosperity begins. And it says, yeah, just keep going. Because good fortune is coming through. You have the faith. You have the understanding. You have the power within yourself. To have the Midas touch. To get to the goal. Making the right, proper decisions. To open and keep open the wheel of fortune. Wow. Because it's all about awareness. Activating awareness, keeping your emotions at bay, having a better understanding of where your emotions are as well. 
If your emotions are all over the place, my friend, your heart chakra is the emotions. But if without emotion, we can't have clarity. We can't have manifestation. You have to make sure that your emotions are, you know, because that's the center of all the wheels, right? Chakra means wheel, energy, wheel. So once that hits, that heart chakra really makes it keep going, right? Really spinning fast. Then you start activating things. Then you really start getting in tune with things, not only things around you, but also within yourself. And so things will start shifting. Communication will start shifting. We see the communication within the King of, of Cups. So any communication that you needed to come through, I needed to hear this, I need to hear that, here it comes. Okay. Getting back and leading your way to your destined path. Getting back to where you can, you know, dream of what you need to dream of. But keeping it, like I said, in the present, right? And just remember, anything you believe and you have faith in, you can achieve. You have goals that you need done, allow them to flow. And then you will have, wow, the overall card of, of the reading is actually, what, Ace of Coins. The promise. The promise not only from the universe, but the promise to yourself. Keeping those promises to yourself watching this all manifest, watching the prosperity and the abundance come towards you. Prosperity and abundance could be love, it could be money, it could be just joy and happiness. So having it all, I mean, look, it's on the wheel of fortune. And that was it for you, my friends. Enjoy your wealth. And until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye. Thank you.